Hello, welcome to the UPSC Quick Revision Series. Today we will discuss a very fundamental and important topic in economics, National Income Accounting. Our agenda for today is as follows. We will understand key concepts like GDP, GNP and NNP, learn about the methods of their calculation and finally discuss the limitations of national income. To understand national income, we must first know GDP. Gross domestic product or GDP is the total monetary value of all final goods and services produced within the domestic territory of a country in a financial year. The words final and domestic territory are very important here. Now, let's talk about GNP. Gross national product or GNP is the value of all final goods and services produced by the nationals of a country in a financial year, regardless of where they are produced in the world. To calculate it, we add the net factor income from abroad to the GDP. In simple terms, GDP is a geographical concept, while GNP is a citizen-based concept. When we move from gross to net, we need to understand depreciation, the wear and tear of machinery and equipment during the production process is called depreciation. When we subtract this depreciation from GDP, we get the net domestic product or NDP. Similarly, when we subtract depreciation from GNP, we get the net national product or NNP. NNP is considered a better measure of income than GNP because it accounts for the capital loss incurred during production. Now, let's understand two more important concepts, factor cost and market price. Factor cost is the actual cost of production of a commodity, which includes wages, rent, interest and profit. On the other hand, market price is the price at which a product is sold in the market. Market price includes indirect taxes imposed by the government and excludes subsidies provided by the government. The official definition of national income is net national product at factor cost. To calculate it, we subtract indirect taxes from NNP at market price and add subsidies. There are three main methods for calculating national income and ideally all three should yield the same result. The first is the production method or value added method. It sums up the value of final output from all sectors of the economy. The second is the income method. It sums up all the incomes earned by the factors of production, such as wages, rent, interest and profit. And the third is the expenditure method. It sums up all the final expenditure in the economy, such as consumption, investment, government spending and net exports. Although national income is an important indicator of economic performance, it has some limitations. It does not include the non-monetized sector of the economy, such as the work done by a homemaker. It does not reflect the inequality in the distribution of income. It's possible for GDP to be rising while the gap between the rich and the poor is also increasing. It also doesn't count for negative externalities like environmental damage or pollution. Therefore, it is important to remember that a high GDP does not always mean high social welfare. Now, let's test our understanding with some practice questions. 